Hey out there Luxac fans, this is The Keep from Luxac.com bringing you today, if you haven't noticed by the mat, a box opening of the new Buddy Fight 100 BFE HBT01 Neo Enforcer that is being released today. Yes, this is the long anticipated uh, box that's going to be including the Hero World, which we've long waited for them. We had the trial deck and we did the box opening for that. But also we're looking at support for Dragon World, of course, because you can't do without Dragon World anymore. But also you get beefs up uh, Legend World as well. And a lot of people looking forward to that, as well as Ancients. And then the super, super secret Azida Haka packs, which will be the Dragon Iron World that uh, you saw in the series. And it's a mystery on how everything happens. But let's go ahead and take a look at the box breakdown. We've got one type of Buddy Rare. Haven't seen what that is yet. We have five types of secrets, which is probably what has been like this rumored secret pack that's going to contain all Dragon Iron Azida Haka uh, cards. So I'm really anxious to see if we get one of those today. We have four types, only four types of SP. I got spoiled from the PPO ones with the 18 different types. Uh, eight different triple R's, 14 double R's, 24 regular rares, 30 uncommon and 34 uh, regular commons, and then foil versions of those randomly assorted. Um, still really nice packaging. I'm digging it. Of course, this is kind of interesting because we're going into Buddy Fight Hundreds when we saw Hero World in the original series. Um, so to see him debut over here was a little disappointing since I wanted to see him in the original Buddy Fight series. Of course, when it comes to the card game, there hasn't been any dramatic changes to the card play, even though the series has changed. So I guess I can't be too disappointed. So opening this up, we see the box topper. I'm not sure if there's going to be different types, but the box topper here is Scorching Crimson Battler Drum in a very anime-esque style. Let me go ahead and read this description here. Pay one gauge. Uh, when this card enters the field, if you are not uh, if you are not equipped with an item, you may equip an item from your drop zone with fist and its card name by paying its equip cost. So this is like a, a drop zone retrieval card. When you place it down, it's the five three two monster size two with crimson in its name. So there's a lot of benefits to that. Really nice artwork. I'm really digging that. We're gonna go ahead and set that to the side. If you already got the crimson fist deck uh, trial deck that was available last week, this is definitely gonna give you a step up. And it's another drum type card, so can't get enough of drum, right? So we're gonna go ahead and take these out. And we're gonna go one by one to see what we actually get. Thank you again for joining me today on this. Man, this one already feels sort of heavy, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, we did have the sneak peek um, last week, and uh, looking at the cards, it looked like it had some amazing uh, advantages for all the uh, new worlds out there, but I did notice a difference in the actual rares. Uh, the rares no longer have that cool foiling anymore. They're, they look more like the Vanguard rares. Not to say Vanguard rares are bad, but they just don't have that same uh, height foil, but it has like this gloss, this sheen over it, which I guess is doable, but I kind of liked the way the other one was because, uh, you know, we were looking at some some uniqueness from Buddy Fight. So let me go ahead and just go over these. 632 Vanilla Blade Dragon Emperor Varpal Sparter. And then this is from the Hero World a key card if you're into the whole, like, Sentai collection kind of thing and using that as a deck. Monster Size 1, that's going to be a very important thing. But 5, 2, 1, Transform, Pay 1, Gauge. This, is, uh, this will allow you to turn this into an item or and equip it as a weapon, which is... A very, very strategic way of using these because you get defense, and the defense will actually apply when you actually when you equip it as an item. So they'll have to attack you for higher than the defense. Maybe not this one, but you get a 5-2 really good attack with the transform ability. So there we go. That's a first warrior Einder. Alright, and then Ice Emperor Thur through through Dragomir. Uh going on with that Norse kind of uh, folklore. This is an Asgard Water 6320 cost monster size 2. Pretty beefy, pretty beefy. And then, woo, we get the uh, Starbows. This is the new Star subclan that they've got going on in here, which is used by one of the characters who uses like the Frost, uh, the, the Frost Star spell or whatever to freeze everybody. But this is the Starbow Artemis Arrow. Uh, pay one gauge. This card can attack even if there's a monster in your center. So this might be a good alternative to the uh, staff if you want to try to do some damage over a, like a, a large monster that you have sitting in the inside. Now I run a legend, 
and I use it with large size threes and monsters, but there's some weaknesses to that that I'll talk about a little bit later as we get into the cards. But this might be a good card as an alternative to the actual staff if you want to run more than one weapon. And our rare this time is a generic. It's a set card. This is damage control counter. So it's a set and it's a counter. During your opponent's turn, discard a card from your hand. If you do, the next time damage would be dealt to you this turn, it is reduced by two. If the card you discard is Battle Deity Robo, the next dam next time damage would be dealt to you this turn. It is reduced by four instead. You may only use this ability once per turn. A lot of detail in there, and but this is going to be, I guess, keying off of the whole uh, Battle Deity Robo, which um, I think talking to Paulo, he mentions that it's about like the five uh, five gods, north, south, east, west. Um, and they're done in different robot styles, but they represent all the different animals from the, the different areas. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. So I've yet to see anyone use any generic, like fancy generic stuff. So I, I want to see somebody come up with a deck with that. So let's see what else we got. We have uh, Procyon, Procyon Malum, Malumpus, 412 Star Olympus, no cost, nice. And we have Actor Knight the Moon, Tarot Star. A call cost pay one, seven, one, three, pretty heavy on the seven. Interesting to see that. Crimson Battler, Bay Rush Drake, five, two, one, zero cost. Because it has Crimson in the name, this might be key later on, so he's actually a really good card to have. Ooh, and we're gonna get to our first double R. <laughs> Looks like uh, Battle Deity Support, another spell, this time a counter. Choose a monster in battle, and for this turn, give it counter attack. Then, if that monster is a Battle Deity Robo for this turn, it gets an additional 4,000 plus 4,000. So it's a 4,000, 4,000 counterattack. Pretty nice. And then our first double R that we saw, Crimson Battler, Guns, Knuckle, Dragon. If you have a card equipped with Fist in its name, this card gets Penetrate, and it's a 3, 2, 1. Nyeh. Penetrate with a 3, little tough. I guess you'd probably want to use him more with, a, like, a Link Attack. So uh, consider this guy with a Link Attack to get that Penetrate if you got a Knuckle on there. Nice. Make him your buddy, man. Use that that infinite impact fist thing, sunshine bit from the uh, CPs. So uh, I'm not a very big fan of the Dragon World, in all honesty. I think it just gets way too buffed. And uh, yeah, I mean, you're you're good with just one, and you could run over people. Even that new trial deck that was out, it's got some cards in there that are just straight ridiculous. That'll rip any deck out there that uses like a heavy center block. It's got this one card where you just pay one gauge, destroy a monster in the middle. It's just disgusting. But let's continue on. Four, two, two. This one, a uh, Hero World card, Ride. Same thing as Transform, basically. Pay one gauge, and it, it means basically the same thing. Um, heavy Trooper, Metal Prisoner, and this is a Brave Machine type. Then we have a uh, uh, Disasquake Dragon, five, two, nine. So it's a heavy, heavy wall. Pay one gauge, monster size two. So he'd be a good guy to sit in the middle just to, just to save up some space. We have a foil uncommon Dragonic Air Raid. Pay cost, pay three gauge, and pay one life. Destroy a card on the field. Really heavy cost. I'm not sure if this is going to be that effective of a card to run in the deck. If you pay three gauge and one life, oof, that's taking a lot of resources. So I guess we'll have to see. Good to see that they actually have foils uncommons, and then they also have like the rares, and the rares are kind of just like this simple sparkle. I guess it's still good that they keep the foils. Actor Knight the Star, Tarot Star, 2, 1, 1, generic. At the beginning of your main phase, you gain one life. Hmm, interesting. So if you put this one down, you, well, if you're fighting against it, make sure to knock this out before it actually gains one life. So he'll, that's like a redirect. This is something that you'd want if you want to just dodge a bullet or something like that, if you, they, if you think you're going to live the next turn. People will just start attacking this, and it'll spare you more damage. All right, and then we have Crimson Battler, Drum, Bunker, Dragon, a key to a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be running this as a buddy. Um, but this is awesome. Call a cost, pay one gauge, and put the top card of your deck into this card's soul, so it does have soul guard. If you have a card equipped with fist in its card name, this card gets penetrate, and this is a five, three, two, so matched up with this guy, you'd have eight with five penetrate. Disgusting. That's a two, that's a one, so this can be really, really strong combo. So I'm really happy I got that one. Nice. Let us move on. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh my god, it is the Ozzy Dahaka pack. Third pack in. These are the secrets. It even says right down there, secret. But this is it. 10, 3, 10. 
lots of text, so bear with me as I go ahead and read this description. Call cost, put a card from the field into the drop zone and pay three gauge. Erasure of history. When this card attacks, it attacks all of your opponent's monsters and your opponent instead. When the card deals damage to your opponent, destroy an item on the opponent's field. So this basically is a Ragnarok obliteration on their side when it attacks. It's disgusting. When this card is destroyed, search your hand or deck for a demonic demise sword, a key, a kilta guanelf, guanef, and equip it. If you searched your deck, shuffle it. So this is a disgustingly powerful card. This is the Ozzy Dahaka. This is the one that everybody's going to be using for the Dragon Ein flag. Woo! Struck gold on this one. And here, again, the secret demonic demise sword, Akilta Guanef. You may not equip this card other than by the ability of demonic demise dragon Ozzy Dahaka. Now, that means if this gets into the drop, there's no way I believe you can shuffle this back into your deck, so you'll need to run multiple just in case you have this engage in the first turn, or if you end up drawing this from your hand. You can't equip it other than using Ozzy Dahaka's effect. So, for this turn, nullify the soul guard of monsters that car this card attacks. So if you have a soul guard, if you're an ancient, this is just going to wreck right through all that stuff and just kill whoever's in the way. Counter, act. If your opponent's card attacks you alone, nullify the attack. So it only can have link attacks do damage to it. Man, look at that foil. That is just awesome. Just disgustingly sexy. Woo! Putting that down there. And here is the Dragon Ein flag. Dragon Ein. Descriptions. You may use cards with dragon in its attribute and generic cards. So it's not in its name, but dragon in its attribute. So that's even more, that gives you even more variety. Your initial hand becomes four cards, your initial gauge becomes two cards, uh, and your initial life becomes 12. So you get more life, less hand, but man, there are so many advantages to this. This is a very sexy, sparkly pack. Think about it, you get that, eh, it's golden. Then you also get the support cards for the Ozzy Dahaka thing. This is still a secret, but it's not shiny. So I'm wondering if there's actually shiny versions of these out here, or at least hollow versions. This one is a 5-2-4 Twin Demon Dragon Zahak. When this card enters a field, you may pay two life. If you do, search your deck for up to one Demonic Demise Dragon Ozzy Dahaka or Dragon Throne. Put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So this is like a quick one. You'll need four of these in order to search up for Ozzy Dahaka. And then you have the throne. Set spell, Darkness Dragon World. That's interesting, it's Darkness Dragon World there. It's not Dragon Nine, so that's kind of, kind of interesting that it says that there. But you can do the set spell, and its set is you may only cast this card if your flag is Dragon Ein. You may put monsters of up to a total of size 4 on your field. Like if you noticed on the Ozzy Dahaka, he is a size 4 monster. So you cannot play this guy unless you have this set spell on there. So if you're going to be facing an Ozzy Dahaka deck, use some spell breakers. There's that generic one where you drop a card, destroy a spell on the field. That'll keep Matt Bay having to make him run for these and try to find them all the time. Uh, this card, an item on your field, cannot be returned to hand or nor destroyed. Screw what I just said. You can't destroy this card when it's out there. So they need to run maybe two, maybe three of these at the most, just be able to mill through their deck and wreck you. Oh my god, we're done. Um, this is being a set spell and a spell. Um, yeah, I don't even know. You can't even return it to hand. You can't even return it to hand. The ability of this card cannot be nullified. So, man, this is just like an auto setup for Ozzy the Haka. But, man, am I glad I got this pack on that time. The legend is, you out of 100 packs, you get one Ozzy the Haka pack. And you cannot get this flag unless you get one of those packs. And in order to get multiple of these, you're going to get multiple of the flags. And so we're going to have this weird thing where you're going to have multiple flags. But out of every 100 packs, and look, you just saw me pull it in this one box that I just opened. Man, this is good. I am glad we did this. Can we, can we do an ace? Can we get an SP in this? Can we, can we get a BR in this? I wonder if we can. Let's check it out. Let's continue on. Uh, another one of the ancients. Island Dragon of the Origin, Little Land Moo. I know nothing can really top this right, so I'm just going to it, let it shine right here and just try to go through these and hopefully we find something else. 411, this is a Dragon Lord type, but it's a monster size zero. This is going to lend a lot more diversity to your field now if you run the Seeger. Of course, this is going to destroy the Seeger if it ever gets involved with it. 
Beast Deity Robo Nightmare. So here's your Beast Deity Robos now. And this is the one that those set spells actually uh, uh, kind of acknowledge. Zero, two, five, eh, it's a wall. You want to put it in the middle. No cost, monster size one. But you can use them with a plus four, plus four counter if you uh, if you remember. So you can give them 4,000 attack on its counter attack. And, and 9,000 defense, so that might be really good. Dragon Knight, Tarakatsu. Tarakatsu, pay one gauge, four, three, one. Monster size one, Dragon Knight. Okay, and then, oh, another. Beast Deity Robo Gimbu. And this is like a turtle type thing. Uh, pay two gauge, four, four, four. So that's uh, in Japanese uh, mythology, four, four, four is death, death, death. So yeah, that's, that's pretty heavy there, but pay two gauge. Monster size two, so it's a little bit bigger. And then we have a, our first Triple R, and it's got this BT-9 Vanguard shine that I'm not impressed with, and this artwork is intense. The Ultimate Neo Dragon Drum the Future. This card, a lot of people are looking for. It is the Mega Drum that was shown on the series. The artwork is so involved, though, that it's really hard to see what exactly is going on. And this is a call cost pay to gauge. It's an 11 3 4. Counter act. When this card link attacks with you, if you have five life or less, you may pay one gauge and discard a card from your hand. If you do, the attack cannot be nullified and the damage cannot be reduced. Wow, so this is basically an impact if you have five or less life and you link attack. So the only way of coming back from this is if you've got something like the arc in the magic world or in the hero world they have that card i'm still alive that thing has saved um a couple of the players and that comes right out of the trial deck so just to let you know yeah if you're going to look on trying to pure defense this thing and this thing are going to totally wreck you so hopefully you have one of those resurrection cards uh, on you that you can use to save yourself but wow this box is loaded dude this is i'm i am really excited about all this stuff look i'm not even gonna have enough space to to put all these special cards this is just crazy so I put that down here. And that's just on this side. I'm, I'm scared to see what's on that side. I might not get anything. But, you know, I've learned a lot about the Legend World, so you're going to hear me talk a lot more about that as we get into this. And I hope I get a few things here and there, but I'm truly not disappointed now. I could pretty much trade whole decks for this one now. Okay, so here we go. Reckless ba Bravery. And I love the artwork on this because it, it's kind of reminiscent of the Sentai thing where you have the yellow one crying, uh, the red one holding the green weapon, and then the green one's actually a shadowy figure in the back, meaning he probably died. And this is a choose a monster on your field, and for this turn, give it uh, plus 5,000 power and penetrate. At the end of the turn, put that monster into your gauge. So the monster disappears uh, as a gauge after he does this penetrate. So it's like he's sacrificing for the final hit, and he goes on. That's just beautiful. But there you go. Pretty awesome. Uh, Solizer's Guard. Choose a monster on your field, and for this turn, give it plus 2,000 power and penetrate. Plus 2,000 power, that's so weak. And penetrate, I guess. Uh, it's a rune enhance. You might do this because you have those size threes that are so heavy anyway, but most of them already have penetrate, so I'd only really give this to something with heavy power, heavy crit, maybe the Fenrir? But, man, I don't know. Normally I do Fenrir, I'll do Ragnarok, and you won't have anything to guard with anyway. So, eesh, okay. Haven't found a good way to use that one yet. Plus 2,000 is horrible. Ice Emperor, third one. We saw this one already, 632. And then this one I'm actually looking to run a lot more of. I'm trying to replace my whales with this one since it's an Asgard. Moon Wolf Managarmer. And it's a pay-to gauge, same as the uh, whale. 936. So it's one more power, one less crit, and same defense. This card on the field is not affected by the effects of Glipnir and can attack. So, as you might recall in the last one, Glipnir was this set spell that when you put on the side, you took a size 3 from your drop and put it underneath. And then when you destroyed that spell, or if that spell got destroyed, the size 3 could go out onto the field. And it has to go onto the field rested. And the only card that was able to stand and do attacks at that time was the Fenrir. So now this Managmurmur is able to do that too. And if you look, it looks like the Fenrir, but like a skeleton version. So, and it has Penetrate, so I'm really happy about this one. This would be really good if you set it, and then you use your Spell Destroyer, destroyed it, put it out there if you haven't Ragnarok, and then you swing with it with 9 with Penetrate if they still have something in the middle. So this is a good alternative to uh, having to try to Ragnarok and getting like a quick hitter out there and, and to, to fight off. So um, that's awesome there. And then we have the Dragon Blade Drum Sword. So, yeah, I mean... 
if you haven't noticed already, there's going to be two main builds I see coming out of uh, the Dragon World in this box. And one is going to be um, the Crimson Fist, as you see over here in the new trial deck. And there's also going to be like the drum build, where it's going to be a ton of drum, ton of drum. And then you have the actual drum sword. So this is um, really good for all you drum lovers out there. And uh, expect that one to have a lot of support. So that is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I don't bend any of these cards like I did my last box opening. That was so horrible. And I'm trying to read all the cards as it is. And you know what? I didn't even read that drum. So let me go read that drum real fast. Pay one life. If you do not have a monster with drum in its card name on your field, pay another life. Ugh, penalty if you don't have drum. When a monster on your field is, re is returned to your hand or deck, for this turn, this card gets plus one crit. This ability only activates once per turn. So this would be key if you have your boomerang or if you have your tomahawk. So you get a plus one crit on there. Of course, it's only one time, so uh, hey, it's, it's better than two. Three is better than two, so that's awesome. So let's continue on. Here we go with the Sentai again. Third Warrior Drader. Three, two, four, monster size one. He does not have the transform ability, but he's uh, he's still be a key because he's one of the actual superhero quartet five. So that's pretty awesome. Secret Army, the Divine King, Vodan Shadow, Asgard. Asgard's going to be key over here for one other card that we're going to run into. But this card here is um, pretty heavy, but it's got a lot of good effects. Four, two, six, so it's a pretty good wall. Uh, pay uh, Call cost, pay two gauge. When this card enters the field, you may pay. You may use one of the following abilities. Choose a weapon from your drop zone and equip it by paying its equip cost. So if you lost your staff, you can pull your staff back out. Choose a spell with set from your drop zone and cast it by paying its call cost. So when you're running these, this is a dead ringer for running either a, a Glipnir or a Fimblewinter. So there's a card in here called Loki, which will help you speed up your Fimblewinters. Um, but man, yeah, this will give you the, di the, you know, the diversity and the dynamics to actually pull either one of those spells out. And I've had it where I pay two gauge and one of the gauge was a Glipnir. And I was able to pull that Glipnir out onto the field, stick one of these Moon Marara guys on there, destroy the spell by dropping a card and putting it out there in the field. And the card you drop is, of course, the one from the PP01. It's that girl where when you drop it, you gauge when you draw one so you don't lose any hand that way. So it's a really good combo. Um, but still, again, I'm using him, and he's a little heavy gauge, so I'm working with it right now. Dragonic Survive. Pay two gauge. Just counter. Destroy a monster on the field of 6,000 or less power. Really heavy. 6,000 or less power. That's, that's pretty good for this one. Pay two gauge, though, so I'm not sure. Love the artwork with Halbert in there, though. And then we have the Card Rhino Brave Machine. Rhino Crush. It's an act. Pay one gauge. If you do for this turn, this card gets plus 2,000 and penetrate. Two, four, six. So it'll make you a six, two, six with penetrate. Not bad. Not bad. First time I've seen that. And we have our Great Fate Frozen Stars. This was the spell card that the character in the anime used. And this one's a pay two gauge. If there are a star on your left or right, nullify all abilities of cards on your opponent's field and in the soul of your opponent's cards. So if you have a star card, meaning the star subclass of the legend, that means if you have penetrate, if you have soul guard, uh, your opponent has these things, those are nullified. They do not work. And that's all abilities, too. So that, that could also include spells of cards that you put down that allow you to do certain things. So this stops all that, basically freezing what your abilities are. The ability of this card cannot be nullified, so you can't get around it. You may only set one great fate of uh, frozen stars on your field. And this could be a great way of pulling this uh, it's pay to gauge, and you have that other guy over here who can pull a set card out onto the field. So he might be dynamic enough to be used in a star set as well, if you want to use this. So yeah, that's, that's key. That's pretty fun to use. I haven't really looked into doing the star build yet, because I'm so dead on on trying to get my, my, Ragn my Ragnarok uh, to come up, and I've already called it Ragnarush, or the Rushnarok, something like that, because my whole goal is within turn one or two, is to actually do the Ragnarok on you, and have enough gauge to actually outlast you that way, but, uh, my attempts so far have been nil, because, I, I don't know, I don't have any monsters with Soul Guard, and I just get blasted off the field in a heartbeat, but it will go on, okay, so this is, a Procyon Melampus, 412, we saw that one already, uh, Battle Deity Robo Sky Dragon, the next one's a 621, pay uh, call cost pay one, mo size monster size one. So it's a six size one, that's pretty good. 
Crimson Battler, Bay Rush Drake. We saw the foil version a little bit earlier. No, he didn't. I, th I have a foil version from the uh, sneak peeks, but yeah, this is, I think we saw already. Uh, five, two, one, no cost. Monster size one with Crimson in the name. Important. Very uh, manga-esque type artwork over here. Pay call, cost one. Set. All buddy monsters on your field get penetrate. Ugh. Okay, so buddy monsters. So if you have any type of buddy, basically that drum with Soul Guard, if you want to use him, he gets penetrate. Superior buddy. So that's interesting. And that's a set. So this stays on the field. That's disgusting. And then we have the explosive takedown Rampage Sonic as transform pay one, five, three, three. Um, and it's a monster size too, but of course when you do the transform, it becomes your item. Um, and this is a key card because they have an impact that requires you to have this equipped. So this is really cool. I think my son, my son is going to need that one. He runs kind of a mix between that one and the uh, Quartet 5. And uh, he's actually pretty good with it. He's knocked me out a couple times. However, the Crimson Fist, <laughs> that deck is so cheap. It really is. Man. So we will move on. So here come Mobile Berserker Goma Guts. And this is a Brave Machine. 7, 2, 5, Monster Size 2, no call cost. Nice. Dragon Prudent. It's Ancient World. You may only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn, and if you do not have a monster in the center, nullify the attack. So this is like a desperation thing, and it, I'm kind of, I kind of split between it, because the whole point that I run Ancients is to put a fat monster in the middle so that you can't get through, and this requires you to have no monster in the middle. And there's not really a time I want to have no monster in the middle of my Ancients. You know, so to run this card, I think is sort of a waste. I'd rather, instead of using this card, a buffer for whatever my size 3 is uh, over there. You know, like a Nullify attack or, you know, if it, or a Wrath trigger or something like that. So that, I'm not sure about that one. Maybe there's another build over there where it requires you nothing in the middle. But I've yet to see anyone try even to pull that. Maybe I want to try that. We'll see what's up. Gotta check the weapons. Um, this one, Crimson Battler, Radical Leg, Dragon... Not Radical Legs, Radical Leg, one leg, I guess. Uh, has Crimson in the name, so that's going to be key. Uh, if you have an item equipped, this card gets plus two, plus two, four, one, three, so it'll become a six, one, five. Pretty nice, and it's all dependent, of course, on the item equipped. So um, I think it'd be really, really good for your Fist deck. Crimson Fist stuff, so nice. Uh, Mashael Lasor Dragon. Beautiful artwork over here. Pay one gauge. If you have five or more different monsters in your drop zone, this card gets power plus three plus penetrate. It's a five three five monster size two. It'll become an eight three five if you have five or more monsters. So maybe you're running one, two of these guys, give him mid game, late game. That'll be a pretty heavy hitter. So nice. And then we have our next rare, the Stellar Deity Astraeus, Olympus Star. Pay two, pay two gauge. A uh, star on, uh, see, star on your left and right cannot be destroyed. So if you put this guy on the side, it cannot be destroyed. And if you put that set spell down, um, and if you have this on your left or right, then your opponent cannot have any abilities on their cards. So it really does do a forced lockdown where you have to blow up this card or blow up that spell. So, and you can't do that with any creatures. You have to do it with some sort of spell. So it's going to be gauge heavy to get rid of all that stuff. Very interesting play. So this is a key card for your star builders out there. All right, moving on. I'm sorry if I'm going so slow, but I mean, I like Buddy Fight. I have a lot to talk about on Buddy Fight. I just don't like reading the names and stuff like that. If I got strategies behind it, I want to go ahead and start sharing them with you. So, I mean, that's what I'm about. All right, so here we go. First Warrior Einder. We already did that one, so we'll go on. Uh, Blazing Dragon Fist Drago Burst. So this is a fist card, so this could be key for even the Crimson Fist, even though it doesn't have Crimson in the name. Pay one life. Equip cost 5-2. Not bad. Oh, wow. Okay, so we get a foil uh, rare. This is a foil rare in the middle of my pack for Ancients. Impact. A uh, maximum, uh, oh, maximum manliness Palm of the Fury Dragon. Wow, I, I manliness. Uh, okay. Uh, you can only cast this card if you have a size 3 monster on your field. As usual, pay 3 gauge. Destroy all monsters on your opponent's field and deal 2 damage to your opponent. So there's not a... This could be done anytime. So this is like a diabolical hardcore for your ancients. So really, really strong. But gauge intense. So you have to use a lot of those uh, those howlers or whatever those... The build for gauge. So we move on with the hero hunter Sabin. 
and this is the Black Ranger, of course, and it says, uh, when this card attacks, pay one gauge, and it has a transform. So this sounds, this sounds bad, you know, when this card attacks, pay one gauge. So in order to attack with this guy, you have to pay one gauge. However, he has transform, and he's a 5-2-5. Five, five. He could be an item with a 5,000 defense. This would suck for anybody trying to use uh, the shadow dive effect <laughs> because in order to they, they only hit for like 2k or 3k this guy's a 5k defense as an item so he's a really good shield against that and this is what i like about the quartet 5 build is you have all these different characters that have different abilities some have a higher strike attack some have a higher defense attack and you can be versatile in in what you can equip onto your flag or onto your uh, onto you as an item so that is awesome and then we have here Ninth Warrior 9, the female ranger. If you are transformed into this card, this card can attack even if there is a quartet 5 in your center. So it's basically like a bow. And it's a 3 1 3. So 3 is still pretty good defense against certain shadow divers and things like that. And it can be in the back and actually pick off other ones out there on the field as well as still doing damage to your uh, opponent. So this one's a pretty good card, and I definitely would recommend running multiple of that. All right, so we move on. Jeez, man, that field. Oh, what do we got so far? We got one triple R. We got this. I don't know if this really counts. And we got one one triple R here, one double R. So, I mean, the box count, you're supposed to get three triple R's and five double R's. Uh, I don't know if this will actually count as one, so we will find out. Um, so we get the Capella Origar, no cost, 415. And this is Olympus Star. And then we have the uh, Fire All Cannons, pay cost 2, destroy all monsters on your opponent's field with 3,000 or less power or 3,000 or less defense. Now, normally these ones that pay 2 gauge are not good because they say like 3,000 or less power or, or just 3,000 less defense. This one is either or. So they could have that 5, 2, 1, or they can have that 2, 1, 7, and this will destroy all that stuff. So that's what's good about uh, the diversity on this one, and this is a destruction type card for the hero world. Tarot Star... Actor Knights the Sun, generic 4260 pay cost, monster size 2, beautiful artwork. Uh, and then we have 522, this is the Taurus Aldebaran. And it's a Legend World Olympus Star, penetrate 522. So interesting, and no cost. So that's uh, pretty nice. And then here is the second most popular drum or third most popular drum in the series, Buddy Police Decker Drum. This is the Hero World version of uh, Drum Bunker. Um, and this is a uh, pay one gauge, pay two gauge. This is an act. If you do, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. You may only use this ability once per turn. So you can do this over and over again, and um, but only after every other turn. I think they actually describe it differently in the anime, but this is a 5-3-5, five, five, so pretty heavy, and you get that effect. Really, really, really nice. All right, continuing on. Go ahead and clear this out. See what else we get out here in these packs. I'm just anxious to see what else we can load up over here. I mean, my goodness. Don't tell me all my all my specials just ended up in just those packs, man. If this is the rest, if the rest of this is a dead box, I'm going to be a little a little miffed about that. All right, continuing on, we have Blade Dragon Emperor Varpol's Sparta, again, 632, Ancient. Then we have the Crimson Battler Shield Arm Dragon. So this is a new one that we haven't had. Zero cost, 237, Strong Wall, Strong Arm, Strong Wall. Uh, the Horn of Demise, uh, Galahar, Galar Horn. Uh, this one is uh, pay one gauge, search your deck for up to one great spell, fimble one to your and pull it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So this would be something that would really hustle you to find your fimble winter. Um, I tried running a couple of these and a couple of fimble winters, but then after doing that a couple times, I was like, well, if I'm not running four fimble winters and I'm running some of these, why don't I just run four fimble winters? Because in the time I run into this, I'll run into the fimble winter. So I'm still trying to figure out what it is unless they want me to run a max of four fimble winters and more of these. And that just feels like it's a little overdoing it. So if any of you got any ideas about how I might want to run that, please tell me because I'm still trying to figure it out for my Ragnar Rush deck, all right? But uh, yeah, they made that. And now I heard that this might have been the one in the J Japanese that is supposed to be um, if you're like in the elementary school search out for like a Glipnir or something like that. But I think they took that effect out of here and just made it standard for everybody. But that would have been so cool. All right, so we move on to the next we have Rage, Thirst, Emperor, Grand, Wild, uh, was it Wilderness? And this is a 100 Demon, so you see the mark over here. 
Ancient. Pay one gauge. When an, uh, when an attack by this card destroys your opponent's monster, you gain two life. Woo, that is nasty. It's a size two, so I don't think it'll really work too much for, you know, uh, like your, your, your Seeger. It is a Dragon Lord, but uh, yeah, I mean, maybe there's some new techniques to the whole Dragon Lord build other than the Seeger with this one, okay? So Hunter Demon. And then our next double rare, it's the Buddy Sword. It's a generic. It's a double R generic. <laughs> Equip, pay two gauge and pay one life. Okay, that's very Dragon world -less. If a buddy monster is on your field, this card gets Penetrate, and it's 5-2. Well, that's cool, but I'm not impressed. Okay, well, maybe I'll have to ask my group to see if we can make a cool generic deck, but okay, I, I feel, I, I hear the music wah, 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 with that one, so... Not my idea, but interesting card. I, I like the design, so we're good. Buddy, buddy sword to go with my buddy help and my my ultimate buddy card from all the generic series stuff. So let's move on. Second warrior, Zwader. Four, two, three. No transform, no cost. Monster size one. Still part of your Sentai build. Uh, then we have Red Dragon Shield. This is the newest Dragon Shield that's out. Pretty heavy, but interesting effect. You may only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn, and if you do not have a monster in your center, like always, pay to gauge. Nullify the attack and deal one damage to your opponent. So if they only have one damage and they attack, you can do this and boom, hit them for one and kill them. So that's pretty interesting. A new a new style of, uh, of attacking on their turn. And then we have Dragonic Repair Weapon. All right, return an item from your drop zone to your hand. So this would be Dragon World's like Fisher from the drop zone. So if an item gets destroyed, you can use this card to haul it back out. All right, and so we move on. Captain Answer, but it's not Captain Answer. It's the Hero Climax spell. You may only cast this card if your superhero destroyed two or more of your opponent's monsters by attacking during this turn. So, of course, if you know Captain Answer, if you do the special answering thing, you get a double attack and you can kill two monsters. So, counter, you gain two life and stand an item on your field. You may only cast this Hero Climax once per turn. So, you gain two life and you stand an item on your field. If you stand Captain Answer back, do you take another double attack? If you took a, I guess you can because it's, a, it's like a... Well, no, it's an act. So, in this case... You're in the middle of uh, playing, so you wouldn't be able to do the double attack. But does that effect still continue on if you restand it? Well, I don't know. But pretty cool. More gimmicks from the hero world. I like it. And then our next rare, Dragon Knight Shohasho. This is uh, Dragon Knight Penetrate 523. Pretty heavy, no cost, monster size 2. All right, let's move on. I'm starting to get impatient. I know I'm going to wreck some of my cards again like I did before, so, yeah, I'm going to have to slow down a little bit. Okay, so Mobile Berserker, Go My Guts. We've seen that one already. Dragonic Repair Shield, been uh, been there. Oh, this is the shield. Uh, this is Pay 2 Gauge. When a card with Dragon Shield, or return a card with Dragon Shield in its card name from your drop zone to your hand. So this, if you're in a pinch for a Dragon Shield, you can always use this to fish it out, but Pay 2 Gauge, really heavy. Uh, think about that one. And then we have an uncommon hollow. Now, this is actually one of the key cards for the Seeger build. Act, and this is a monster size zero. It's a 2 1 1, but act. Explosive fire power blast. If a size three monster is on your field, rest this card. If you do destroy all defense, 2,000 or less monsters on your opponent's field. So this could clear out a whole slaughter full of darkness dragon world and then this can combo with another card hopefully we find it but yeah this is something to look forward to i'm actually going to put it to the side even though it's not a triple r i just like the shine but maybe i can talk about this a little bit later soaring dragon fair skylines another ancient spell call cast pay two draw three cards and discard two cards from your hand you may only cast soaring dragon fair uh soaring dragon fair skylines once per turn so this is draw three dump two could be the two that you already have in your hand. So this is a great way to mill through your deck. And then we have an impact. This is one that we had already seen. The Maximum Manliness, Palm of the Fury Dragon, but in its regular rare form and not its hollow. All right, moving on to the next pack. 
And guys, I know y'all left comments on my last uh, my last box opening. If you can, please feel free to share or uh, express yourself again. Leave comments below. All every bit helps, so I can make a better video for you. And if you have any questions or want to talk about some of this, that's what it's about. Trying to open up a dialogue with you guys. All right, Dragon Prudent. You may only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn, and if you do not have a monster in the center, nullify. Okay, we already went through that. Let me go ahead and speed things up. Oh. Card Serpent. Haven't done this one yet. Five, two, two, zero cost. Monster size one. Brave Machine version for the hero world. Generic. Actor Knight of the Moon. Pay uh, call cost. Pay one gauge. Seven, one, three. Monster size one. Seven. That's pretty heavy. Moon Celestial Selene. Uh, Olympus Star. Two, two, one. I'm not sure. It's a monster size zero. So it's kind of a vanilla zero that you can put out there as a buffer if you have a size three sitting out there being fat on the in the center field. And then we have our next double R, Wicked Dragon Emperor, Billion Knuckle. I don't know what an open hand with a billion knuckles would look like, but this is the Billion Knuckle Dragon. And this is a Raging Spirit, Ancient Dragon, Monster Size 3, 7, 2, 6. Pay 2 gauge and put the top card of your deck into this monster's soul. Very drum bunker. Uh, when an opponent's card attacks, change the target of the attack to this card. So this one is a redirector, very similar to the, uh, um, what is it, uh, the uh, Ark, the um, Demon Godal Ark, uh, which I'm trying to find. Nobody seems to have a Demon Godal Ark anymore, but this is very much like the ancient world version of the Demon Godal Ark. And it's a Soul Guard Counterattack Lifelink 2. Eh, that's the problem. I mean, you get a Lifelink 2, so that's that's ouch. But 7 to 6, he's no doubt going to be hard to hit, and he's got a great counter. So that's pretty awesome. I'm going to put him right on top of here with the Ein stuff since that one actually shines. And let us move on, see what else we get over here. about this box this was this was awesome now i mean there's been another tale saying that every box will include uh a dragon eye uh pack i'm not sure if that's the case but then later on that same person that told me also said it's in every 100 packs you know buddy fight 100 get it <laughs> uh serious a lie lie lapse uh olympus star 521 monster size one zero cost very shiny very galaxy like and this one's the Gathering of the Armed Dragons. Counter, choose a Raging Spirit in battle, and for this battle, give that 3,000, 3,000 plus counterattack. He is, uh, that one dude is a Raging Spirit, if you look at that. So it'd be great, even though counterattack, he's already got counterattack, so maybe on one of the other followers. Actually, I see the dude in the back. That's the Billion Knuckle, isn't it? Yeah, oh, okay. Spell, kind of a waste of its counterattack. Uh, and we already saw this one, the Disassequake Dragon, 5 to 9, call cost 1. Type 36 Armored Convoy Rigo. And this is a ride pay to gauge. So basically, you can equip it. It's a 4 3 4. Pretty beefy with some good attack. Uncommon. And then we have the Card Burn, which was the uh, one of the buddies in, a bo in boxes previous. We didn't open it up. But Card Burn is one of the key cards, our key buddies in the anime series. Pay uh, act. Zero cost, uh, call cost, but act. Pay for gauge. And you may put a card serpent, card rhino, and this card from your field into the drop zone. If you do, ride ultimate card burn from your hand or deck. If you search for your deck, shuffle it. Ride pay to gauge. So you can actually have this guy become your item. And it's a 4-1-3. And if we ever get to the ultimate card burn, the description on that one is stupid. So I'm going to have to explain that one if we get into it. So hopefully we do in this next deck. Well, okay, guys. We just went through one stack, and this is what we're pulling. I am hyper excited. Hopefully we get a lot more over here. Let's see if we can go for the gold and really hit either an SP or possibly a, a buddy rare. So I'm always looking for it. They don't ever ask that question in the anime anymore. Can you pull a buddy rare? Let's see if you can. Okay, uh, heavy trooper metal prisoner, 422 ride. So, and he's a size one monster, no cost. Um, let me see. Dragonic Repair Weapon. We already went through that. Battle Deity Robo Nightmare. It's a 025. I think we went over that one already. Great Wall. Uh, Crimson Battler Break Shoulder Dragon. Seen him in the anime a couple times. 131. So he'd be like your skeleton armor knight guy. Um, but 131, you know, he wouldn't be able to hit any guy. Uh, in the hero world if they've got one of the one of those uh, quartet five equipped because this is his energy is just one So this is this is a place where the quartet five equipped with defense on your item 
would come in handy to go against this kind of guy. So just be aware of that when you try to run him. But he does size one monster. And then we have our next double R, this one here being Legend World. And they're doing these things with runes, runes. And this is a call cost. Put a monster from your field into the drop zone. Counter. Put the top card of your deck into this into the gauge and draw a card. So um, if you if if they're going to attack a monster, you play this card uh, as a counter, and you take that monster, you put him in the drop, and then you uh, what is it? Put the top card of your deck into your gauge, and then you draw a card. So this helps mill through your card has them waste their attack because you pulled your monster back before they could even get hit. So this is pretty cool. Mo um, Magic World has a card similar to this. And so you play this one the, the same way. So I, I, I'm i going to have to abuse that one. That one's good. Nice. All right. Oh, you know what? Why am I putting it there? I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be putting it over the generic. Okay. We'll split it over in here uh, in a little bit. Oh, that generic double rare. I guess with as good of a box this is, I can't be all bitter about that one. But wouldn't that suck if I didn't get, you know, the cards I got? And I still got that. Oh, jeez. All right. I can imagine someone who opens it. Oh, I got double. Oh, I got that double rare. And yeah. oh, more rune stuff. Uh, this is a plus two thousand plus penetrate. We saw that one already. The Dragonic Survive. We saw this one. Secret Army, the Divine King, Vodan Shadow. Battle Deity Robo Genbu, this is the turtle again, and then our next rare we have is Drago Defense. This one is a spell, you may only cast this card if your monster is being attacked. Uh, counter, choose one of your monsters in battle and for this turn give it plus four defense and counter attack. So this is just a defense booster, um, but it's zero cost, so you could run more of these defense type things for and counter attacks to defend your guys out there in addition to the ones that are already out there. So Drago energies, what have you, now you got, you know, Drago defense. So that's, that's pretty cool. All right, let's move on over here. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it some love. I'll give it some love. We got some extra space over here. I'll do that, okay, just to let the rest of the field shine. Uh, look at that shine, see? It's just, it, it's just working. The light is working with it. So let's see what else we got here. Okay, we already saw you, Mobile Berserk, Gomaguts, Crimson Battler, Radical Leg Dragon. Already went through that. Ice Emperor, through I can't th through through Lemire. Okay. Oh wow! Now that's about as Power Ranger as you can get as far as that image. But what are we looking at here? This is the new program, Three Man Squad Quartet 5. So it's all sorts of weirdness. Let's go ahead and read this. It's a spell. Search your deck for up to one size two or less Quartet 5 monster. Put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. You may only cast a new program, Three Man Squad Quartet 5, once per turn. So this helps you search out for a size two or size one Quartet 5 character. And that is key if you ever want to pull out the big sentai giant robot voltron looking guy which if we run into i'll go into more detail but uh that's pretty cool love the artwork so awesome and then our next uh rare is demonic fairy dragon sorcerer it's a monster size one dragon lord so you can't really place this down um next to your seeger but four two one pay call cost one when an attack by this card destroys your opponent's monster for this turn your card gets double attack so if you crush a monster on the field, you can swing again. So that's pretty cool. I dig that. So uh, yeah, I'll have to see what I can do about building the the uh, other version of the Dragon Lord uh, deck build. I still got a lot of those other cards from the other builds too. So I wonder if that's going to be uh, have any more enhancement over here. So okay, we go on. Gathering of the Armed Dragons. Seen that one. Second Warrior's Weeder. Uh, Actor Knights the Sun. This is a funny card. Love it. That's a character that's from a, like a common writer series. But it's why is there a banana peel here? That's the name of the card. You may only cast this card when your opponent calls a size two or less monster into the center. So when they call a size two monster out to the center, that's when you use it. Your counter is rest that monster. So it's not when they're attacking. It's when they call it. You have to use this. So just to let you know, that's how this one actually works. That's pretty cool. And then we have our next triple rare, second Crimson Chieftain, Burning 4, 8, 2, 6. Call cost, pay 2, gauge. Uh, item on your field with fist in its card name gets plus 1 critical. So think about that. You get this guy out there, you get a boomerang out there, you have your Drago Blade in the back or something like that, or Crimson. 
and then you do the boomerang, get the plus one crit, then you add, well, that, the Dragon Blade is not a fist, so I can't really say that. But maybe they got a fist item that's similar to that. But double attack at eight, two, six, this thing's gonna clear holes for you and let you attack all day long. So that's pretty awesome. That is more shine to the mix. Let us move on, let us move on. Ah, I know, it feels like it's all downhill from here, isn't it? I mean, what else can I get? I don't even know, it's just, I've got one double rare, one triple rare, one triple rare, and then this guy, I don't know if he counts for anything. One double rare, two double rare, three, uh, four, so I'm expecting one more double rare, maybe one more triple rare. I mean, I still got a load of packs. So I've got to have, I've got to have uh, higher than the, than the standard, so let's see, we'll see, we'll see. So again, this is the uh, Pro Slot, Pro, Procyon Malampus we had before, Third Warrior Dreeder, uh, Dragonic Repair Weapon, Wind Call Cavalry Vortex Arms, a new one that I think I haven't seen yet, 747, this card cannot be called to the center, call cost one. And then we have the Dragon Kid Ricky, 313, nullify the life link of size three raging spirits on your field. Okay, that's cool. Um, lifelink one so you put this guy out there if you wanted to double up with your your billion knuckle right there So this might be something worthwhile. So awesome. I, I kind of dig that already see the combo. Let's move on. Let's see what else we get All right, so here we go finally we get uh, Ancients with a decent weapon, 3-2. This is a sky-splitting armor, Masurao. Ancient is Raging Spirit and a weapon, so really nice. There we go with the Horn of Demise, Galar, Gahalar Horn. And the Crimson Battler Shield Arm Dragon. This is the Burning Rite Brooder, the same thing that we see over here. Wish we saw its brother. And then we have our rare, which is an impact, and ooh, it's the fifth Omni Divine Arts Howling Storm. And we have our boy over there, basically uh, Sheng Long from Dragon Ball, but the fifth Omni Lord. You may only cast this card if you have six life or less. Pay three gauge. Destroy a card on your opponent's field and deal two damage to your opponent. So again, this is a destroy monster, pay three, and you and this is only if you have six life or less. So hmm, not sure how I might want to use that one. Not nearly as threatening as a lot of the other Dragon World stuff that I've seen out there. So Tenbu, Tenbu's his name. Okay, just to let you know. Didn't want to let that escape you. You're like, that's really Shang Long? I didn't see anything. But uh, we're good, we're good. Here we are. So fifth warrior Einder, first warrior Einder, I'm sorry. Uh, Sirius Lapis. And Dragon Knight Taraku, uh, Tarakatsu. Dragonic Air Raid. Man, that's the one I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, and talking about Tenbu, there we go with our next Triple R. We just pull Tenbu. There we go. That's that's this dude right here. And here he is. Fifth Omni Dragon Lord Tenbu. Let me go ahead and read all this. 636. Six. If you haven't seen the anime already, he's one of the first ones you see in the 100 series. Omni Lord. You may use this card with all flags. You may only have up to one fifth Omni Dragon Lord Tembu in your deck if you use it with a non Dragon World flag. Uh, and that's specific Dragon World, not Darkness Dragon World, but Dragon World. Pay two gauge, call cost. When this card enters the field, destroy all monsters on your opponent's field. So this just blows up the entire thing. Now, this has a very similar effect to the Gil Khan. I don't know if any of you remember that one from uh, Danger World, which was like a, an 11 4 11 or something like that. And there's one time where I actually put that down and then on, I was facing off a fighter who was using Katana World who had that spell where if a monster died it destroyed the monster you could destroy a monster on the opponent's field and I got so salty about that but just to let you know if you place this guy down and they play that thing I warned you here all right that can happen against Katana World so don't think when you put him down it's all over all right make sure you have something that can nullify the destruction or something to block that spell but uh yeah just giving you a heads up but Pretty awesome that we get some staple cards all in this pull. So I think that's it for our triple R's. Um, so I think I'm only looking for maybe one more double R in the packs I got. And I still got quite a few packs. So let's see, let's see. So we got, uh, what is this? The uh, Island Dragon of the Origin, Little Land Moo. 
And then Actor Knight of the Sun. Foil, Third Warrior uh, Dreeder. I'm cool with that. I'll keep that one. Choose Being. I haven't seen this one yet. This is a star. Uh, choose a size 2 or greater star on your field. And for this turn, give it double attack. Interesting. Interesting. And then we have our Bash Dragon Emperor. Champion Lord, Raging Spirit, 9, 2, 6. Double attack, lifelink 2. So he's the monster size 3. He'd be your alternative to use for the billion knuckle. But uh, call cast pay 2. When an opponent's card attacks, change the target of the attack to this card. So it is the same thing as the billion, except this one's a 726. This one's a 926. Why is this one a triple R? Why is that one more a little bit better? Ah, this one has counterattack. This one does not have counterattack. So this is where you would actually use those Raging Spirit boosters in order to, to, to give him the counterattack ability. Now I see where it's going with that. All right, we're cool. So let's move on. I just don't have enough space on my on my board here. To, and I'm covering this this beautiful Azidahaka mat, you know. This is the mat that you'll actually get if you typically buy four boxes or more uh, from a distributor. If they're cool like that, they normally get one of these mats. Or they make them available for tournaments if you're out there competing and they use these as a giveaway or top prize or something like that. I normally like to do raffles because we always have these, these guys that will come in and they'll win you know, like 70% of the time. And it doesn't really give a lot of opportunity to give this stuff out to the other people. And I understand a lot of people, go, like champions, are like, well, I should get everything. Well, come on, get get over your ego, guys. It's about playing, man. You got a good deck, you won. That's that's your thing. You get your badge, you, you win. The, the mats and stuff like that, sure, they might be good, but maybe talk to the person who might win it through a raffle. Heck, you're going to be put in there, so it's a fair shake for everyone, right? Consider that next time you go to a tournament, see if they got these available for that kind of uh, community activity. But here we go, Third Warrior Dreeder. This is three, two, four. More Sentai. Uh, Black Dragon Emperor Varpal. And that's the first card that we saw, so you know what that one is. Blazing Dragon Fist Drago Burst. You got that one. Crimson Police Assault Leader. That's a new one for me. It's a superhero brave machine, so it's a crossover. Six, two, one. Monster size one, zero cost. Not bad. It's pretty heavy on the attack there. And then we have our rare, which is a impact for uh, Hero World. This is Impact Double Sword Slasher. Uh, you may only cast this card if you ride. Um, if you ride R on Ultimate Card Burn, and neither you nor your opponent has a monster in the center. So that's Ultimate Card Burn right there. Really sick artwork, man. That is just awesome. Call cost, pay four gauge, deal five damage to your opponent. So it's four gauge for five damage. That's that's pretty that's pretty good, but you already have to have ultimate card burn on in hand, and typically when you have ultimate card burn, the game is almost over already. I mean that guy is ridiculous if you ever saw his stats. The guy can't get destroyed. The, the guy cannot be destroyed. It is one of the dumbest cards out there, and I don't think it can be returned to hand either. You just you can Ragnarok him, but yeah, that's that's about it. But man, oh man. Okay, so here we go. Dragon Prudent, we already saw that one. This one might actually go very well with uh, the Raging Spirit uh, stuff, so I can see that. Battle Deity Sky Dragon, 6 2 1. Then we have a foil version of the Sulizer Guard. I'll keep that to the side. Ah! The Frozen Wall Neville Vons. This is the first time I got it in this box, but I already have two. But this is that mysterious monster that, uh, what's his face, the blue-haired kid with the bowl cut actually put out onto the field that you never saw in any box release for Legend World. It's a 001, but it's effect. Uh, and it's a size zero, mind you. If another Asgard monster is on your field and this card is in your center, this card cannot be destroyed by an attack. So it basically turns into a wall. So of course you can blow it up with a spell or something, but that's going to cause, you know, cost gauge and that kind of thing. And if you've been trying to take away from them, this would be a really effective way to block the center. And then on the side, you're looking at having a Fenrir or you're going to have uh, an Astralkis or something really big that has Asgard in its effect that's going to take a lot to knock out. So this is really cool. I'm just waiting for like the Soul Guard guy with a 10k defense, put him on the side and put that guy in the middle. That'd just be the dumbest thing. But yeah, that's how you would want to kind of abuse him. And then we have our rare here, the Cyber Police Lightning Chaser. He is a superhero slash brave machine. Four, two, one. When an attack by this card destroys your opponent's monster, put the top card of your deck into your gauge. So he'd be your auto gauger. And I messed up the card again because of the way I opened the packs. That is just horrible. Oh, he's a rare. Put him over here. Push, push, push. 
pull to the side. Okay, now let's go ahead and open it up. Only got a few more packs over here, so I hope I haven't totally burned you on all the excitement having you stare at my Ozzy Dahaka everything over here. But let's go ahead and continue on. Reckless Bravery, a uh, beautiful card. Crimson Battler, Bay Rush Drake, already saw that one. Actor Knight of the Moon, have gone through that one. A new Hundred Demon, Bronze Giant Talos. Two, three, six, pretty big wall, Olympus, and 100 Demon. So anxious to see how this 100 Demon thing is going to play out. I hear it's going to be a 100 card deck. I don't know, but look for those symbols. Those are cool things to collect. And then we have Dragon Return System, which is a really nice abusive way of making things happen with your boomerang. It's a set card. When a monster on your field is returned to your hand uh, or deck, put the top card of your deck into the gauge. This ability activates once per turn. So on top of this, if you have those other cards that give you pluses every time you return cards back to your hand, you can get a lot of stuff happening with that boomerang. So he's going to be a key card for some of these decks. Uh, if your life would become zero, put this card into the drop zone and put the top card of your deck into the drop zone. If that card is a spell card, your life becomes two. So this is the Resurrector. So um, this is the one that you saw when, uh, I guess, Gao was getting smashed in by uh, Tsuku when he was working for Darkness Dragon, and his life became two. You may only set the one Dragon Return system on your field. So yeah, you might want to use these just because of that effect on the side, um, that, that life, that death nullifier. So that's pretty cool. I think that makes three for me right now, so I'm really going to be using that. It has those multiple effects, giant paragraphs that I gotta read out, man. Woof. A lot of descriptions. I do wish they made the text a little bit more legible. I don't know, it makes it kind of hard to read when there's a lot of detail in there. So let's continue. Capella Origer. Origer, I'm not sure. Card Serpent. This is one of the cards that you search out with that one uh, Sentai card that we saw. Um, the Card Serpent. Not this, uh, yeah, I believe so. It was like a, the Brave Machine one. And then we have a uh, pay two gauge, return a card with a dragon shield. Okay, this is a Drionic Repair Shield. Blizzard Left Brooder. Okay, now this is the brother of this one here, okay? This one is a size zero, so you can put him on the left or right. One, two, one. And his ability, freeze prison. If a size three monster is on your field, rest this card. If you do, give all monsters on your opponent's field 5,000 less defense. So think about it. You take this, you rest this card, 5,000 less defense, then you use this card, you rest this card, and this guy, uh, if you have a size 3 monster, if you do destroy all defense, 2,000 or less monsters on your opponent field. So these two cards on the side will blow up the entire field, uh, if, and you have a Seeger in the middle. So that is what's so nasty about that couple. And then here's our double R that I didn't want to, uh, you know, overshadow. Another double R, nice. We have a 1-1-4, one, one, and this is a counterattack. Uh, or it has a counter, act during an attack on your opponent's turn, pay one gauge. If you do, call this card from your hand to your center and change the target of the attack to this monster, and it has move. So pretty interesting, pretty interesting. This is a uh, superhero as well for Hero World. Awesome, awesome. So we got a few more packs. Okay, so next one, the penultimate pack. I don't think there's too much more, man. My... Uh, my endorphins have been shocked. I, I'm not sure if I can get go through too much more, like, super excitement. I know a whole bunch of people who are going to be hyper excited about this entire setup. So let's let's see what else we get here. Red Dragon Shield. Sky Splitting Armor of Masu Rao. This is the weapon for Ancients. Then we have the Crimson Battler Radical Leg Dragon. A new one over here. Or So the Dream I Had Went. Spell for Hero World, you may only cast this card when your opponent casts a spell. Uh, call, cast, pay to gauge. Nullify the spell cast by your opponent. So there you go. This is your spell nullifier for uh, Hero World, which is any any time you have a spell nullifier, run at least two of those, or at least keep them in your side deck because those are so important, especially in decks like Magic World where it's ridiculous. And then we get the Hyper Energy. This is a key card you will need in your Hero World deck. Put four cards from the top of your deck into your gauge. So you basically build your gauge by four. You may only cast Hyper Energy once per turn. But dude, that's all you really need is once per turn. And you get four gauge in there on top of any other gauge that you got. Yeah, this will load you up for any type of defense later on if you have any gauge. So that's fantastic. Run like three or four of those. And then our final pack. So let's go ahead, open it up, see what we get. Can't get too much better than this, guys. I mean, really, I'm... 
I, I'm super happy with everything I got, so let us see here. Um, this is Fire All Cannons, Crimson Battler Shield Arm Dragon. We have the foil version of the Blade Dragon Emperor Vapor Varpal Sparter. So, you know, we saw this thing three other times, but good to end it up with the foil. Thank you very much. And then we had the Fang Slay Drum, which is uh, kind of like a drum bunker dragon, but not drum. It's like his species type. 525, five, it's move. Uh, armor dragon and red dragon, so that's pretty cool. And then our final card, what better way to end it off than with the gigantic crusher impact rare card. Again, like I said, the rares here, they're kind of plasticky and they've got this sheen, but they no longer have the the, the embossed kind of gold uh, lettering, which I thought was really cool and really unique to the card. Gave it a little bit richer effect. This one gives it a little bit more toy effect. I don't know, to me personally, but let me continue and read on here. You may only cast this card if your opponent has four life or less. You have a card equipped with fist in its card name, and neither you nor your opponent has a monster in the center. Hey, you run Dragon World, you never really have a monster in the center. Uh, cast cost, pay three gauge, deal four damage to your opponent. The damage dealt by this card cannot be reduced. Doesn't say it can't be nullified, though. So you can still nullify this, just as it cannot be reduced. You might want to watch the errata for that one. That might change because that text sounds like it might have been missing that. But all right, there you go, guys. This is my this is my poll that I got. So let's go ahead and go over kind of my double R's right now. First uh, double R right here is the Rescue Dragon Mock Braver Superhero 114. So really, really, really nice. Not really used for the Quartet 5 build, but man, look at that artwork. That's just something intense. And then we have uh, Legend World, something I might have to look into here. Hi, Sheen. This is the Oswira, Oswira Guard. And uh, yeah, the actual spell for it. I'm good for that. Then we have, give me another double rare. Give me another, oh, we got this one here. It's like the alternative build or the new build for Ancients. This is the Wicked Dragon Emperor Billion Knuckle. So it's my Demon Godel arc for the Ancients. And then we're, we got wah, 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 we got the Buddy Sword uh, for the generic. So yeah, relatively unimpressed with that one. And then we have the Crimson Battler Guns Knuckle Dragon. All right, see that? Wow. See, I'm glad you guys are actually taking a look over here and watching this video, seeing what we, what we got. And let's continue on, see what else we have here. Our triple rares now. This one right here is the second Crimson Chieftain Burning 4. Really nice. I kind of dig that shine. I mean, I don't know BT9 style. I wish it had a little bit more texture to it. But uh, it is what it is. That's an uncommon. Can't put that one out there. Here we go. This one with the confusing artwork that, you know, is really hard to notice. It looks more like a like an outline of something. But this is the ultimate Neo Dragon Drum the Future. Really intense. And then we have our, our boy over here, the Tenbu. Fifth Omni Dragon Lord Tenbu. In all his mightiness, the Omni card. And then we have all these fantastic things here. We have the Dragon Ein Secret card. Really, really nice. We have the Dragon Ein spell set and the Zahak card, the searcher. We get the Dragon Ein special, Demonic Demise Sword Akilta Gwynef. Sounds like a type of plant that would be domestically grown in Southern California. And then we have here the ultimate Demonic Demise Dragon Ozzy Dahaka, the one that everybody's really looking for. So there you go, guys. My entire set of everything I've got. I know I said a lot. I speak a lot about it. It's not just about a box opening to me. This is actually a very uh, interesting game, and I think more people should go out there and give it a shot. The animation is fantastic. The support behind it, uh, as far as the company Bushy Road, they've been every, you know all everything great. And um, yeah, I just uh, really thank you guys for your support. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or concerns on any of the cards that you see over here or anything that I said, uh, or if you just have a general questions uh, or if you have questions in general about life or what have you, please leave those in the comments below. I'm all ears for that. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can personally. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, thank you very much. Keep battling out there, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.